Uh, so, what we have here is generally, but it means a bunch of different body types. We have a couple of the, um, the same body types here with the long ones and this one these two kind of match with a thicker body type which I kind of like this one's just a little bit more like traditional this one is as well <clears throat> what's really gonna set this apart I think is the head which we'll get into later um, it's gonna be a lot of that personality it's gonna give you a lot of that uh, style and unique um, look and the body just needs to kind of tie tie that together so um, I'm gonna save my thumb file there we go um, I tend to want to make either something like this one or something like this one like a big thick dude this one's kind of cool too but I can always try to use that head later like a more angular kind of head um, so let's go over to ZBrush and um, iterate in, on the actual mesh. And I'll show you some of the ways I use layers and how we can quickly find some cool 3D thumbs based on these initial like 2D sketches. Alrighty. We'll take our, uh, get our thumbs in here. So just go back into texture import click on the image, hit the plus and minus button to spotlight hit the comma key to get rid of light box let's um, oh, that's coming in weird huh? probably because it's pure black, it doesn't like that right, let's knock it down, let's get it smaller I'm just going to stick this up here kind of like a visual reference thing Okay, and do our quick sample brush sample spotlight projection. That way, the has no influence. All right. So here's our base mesh. Okay. Go to layers under tool and uh, hit the big old square button, and we will start to make this thing. Uh, I'm gonna show you the brushes I use. I basically use the move, the inflate, and maybe the soft, form soft. It's because it's a nice controlled kind of brush for building up just form. Not Probably not too much of it though. Um, and then I'll go to my smooth brush, it's sh uh, shift, and then I'm going to knock down the Z intensity to 50 so it's not so strong. The smooth brush really will knock down your, like on the these really low poly kind of things, it'll smooth it out too um, aggressively so I like to back that off in this stage okay so I'm going to assign some hotkeys the way you do that is you hit control alt and you click on the button you want to assign one to so I hit two oops I moved make sure you don't move hit the two key and if you see it upper left here it'll tell you you assigned it correctly so I hit the two key and it goes to the move uh, brush. Now if I do the same thing for inflate, control alt and then three, and then control alt on form soft and four. So two, three, four, two, three, four. And then the shift keys right there. You can use whatever combination you want. I tend to use the numbers because I don't think they're used for anything besides the one key, which is used for the replay last command. Okay. Let's make some dragon. All right, I'm gonna to go to my move brush. I'm gonna adjust the focal shift. I just hit the O key on that to adjust it on the fly. And we're gonna use the masking as well. So um, it, if you're not using the interface I have, uh, which is available on Gumroad, my Gumroad um, page for free, go to B, M for mask, and there's a mask lasso. And then it's just telling you you're gonna, this is gonna be your overriding control key operation. And you say, okay, fine. So that way we can use, well, I got to do it a couple times before it kicks in, whatever reason. And then I have a button for blur mask, which comes from here. I like to use that rather than just tapping on here because it tends to leave 
a um, hard edge. You see that hard edge right there? I don't like that, so I like to use the actual button, and it makes a nice soft one. All right. So let's get this neck into position. Clear the mask by drawing it uh, outside of the uh, mesh. Reverse it by tapping, control tapping. And you can sharpen it by control, sh control alt and then tapping. Once you get those operations down, it's not that difficult or hard to remember as it may seem in the beginning. <coughs> not going to get too crazy with the head quite yet, but I will give it some thickness overall. Just give it some some sort of dragon-esque feel. Like all the horns, if we do some or any kind of those protrusions, we'll do a separate uh, technique.